everyone and welcome back to our very first hardcore minecraft world last episode we made this library for some of our villagers and today i want to make a storage room and i also want to go to our local nether fortress i've been putting that off a little bit but quickly first of all i bought some name tags and we have some villagers to name there were a lot of good suggestions in the comments so i picked out two names for our farmers and six for our librarians so we have kyla we have jermaine we've got morty this one can be Violet, Cleo, and Jeffy. Then we have our last two name tags for our farmers in the greenhouse. They're gonna be named Fawn and Avery. All done, now let's get ready to go to the fortress. We're quite prepared, but I'd like to enchant this gold helmet with fire protection. And that means we need to level up, so we're straight back here in the greenhouse to trade. Fawn, I'd like some levels. And then Avery. I'm hoping 28 levels will do. Let's check what the enchanting table will give us. I don't want these. Let's try block some. We'll just try this. Ah, no luck. Oh, fire protection four. Wait, that's really good and it only requires 19 levels. I'll take it. Nice. I know I could have made a villager for that, but I didn't and we got lucky, so it's fine. I'm gonna add a little bit more protection to our boots now. We'll make a shield. And lastly, we're gonna need enough arrows for our bow. We've got heaps we can grab over here at our mob farm. We've got nearly a stack here and a stack here. I think that'll be heaps and we're pretty well prepared. So let's go to the nether fortress. What? I'm not scared. Who said that? I think we're going this way. Oh, hoglin. Our main purpose of the fortress is to get enough blaze rods that we don't have to come back anytime soon. Oh, I see the fortress. And a hoglin. Oh, I found this spot where we entered last time. We have been here before, but we didn't get a whole lot of stuff. And it's kind of big, so we didn't explore the whole thing. It seems like at least I made some of it safe from wither skeletons, though, so that's good. Oh, a wither skeleton. Hello. Wonder if we can get a head. Probably not. Just coal and bones. We have a staircase in this direction, and I think I hear blaze. Oh, where's that coming from? I actually don't know. We're on the top floor now though. I don't think we've been here. There's a blaze way over there. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't see you there. Oh, and you. Oh, this is a spawner. Ah, I hear too many things at once though. Spawners are good though. This is what we want. Oh, there's a lot of you. Hello. You've been piling up. Oh, more blaze rods. Yes. Oh, we have seven so far. That didn't even take long. Oh, there's a few here. Hello. 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 Ow. Oh my gosh, 13? Wait, what? Oh, everything here is on fire. Hello. So we basically kept killing Blaze and honestly, they were doing very little damage. Once I realized that, it was a lot more relaxing. And we ended up with 45 blaze rods, which is kind of crazy for me. So we won't need to come back anytime soon. On the way back, we went to this portal that connects to the lush caves. Because I wanted to collect some clay to make into bricks for our next build. So we'll just take some of this. Oh, it's a little annoying how the water goes everywhere. Diamonds! Well then. Just two, I think. And we got some mobs. Oh, they keep spawning. Oh, hello. This is kind of a detour. I don't think there's much else down here. Oh, creepers. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, there's mobs everywhere. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. There we go. I want to leave. Let me leave. Oh, everything just kept spawning. Oh, we're home. I hated that. And now that we have enough blaze rods for so, so many potions, we might also want to increase our nether wart production. We haven't got any planted, so maybe let's find a good spot. I don't want to hide it away because I quite like how nether wart looks. It's a very bright crop. Is it a crop? I don't know. But it is very bright and colourful. Maybe over here, right by the path next to our library. And then we add the nether wart and we need some kind of border around it maybe just wooden stairs there we go all done it's growing really fast as well with that nether mission done i want to move on to making our storage room 
Since we're still living out of our starter house from episode 1, our storage is actual chaos. Since we're gonna need more copper for our storage room roof, I went on a bit of a mining mission earlier. We got some much needed copper and some other ores. I think we should already have the other resources we need. I have some concept art in front of me to give me a little bit of direction here. So we want the entrance to be somewhere over here. And then we'll make equal size sections jutting out on either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want this to be pretty long so it actually has room for all our storage needs. So we'll have one more section going one, two, three, four. And mirror it on this side. We'll make it pretty tall, maybe seven or eight blocks. Now I'm just trying to build up a framework for the entrance way. I want it to look kind of interesting. The middle bit's pretty chunky looking, but I think we'll get a better idea of what we're doing if we fill it in. I want to do some areas of it in brick, kind of like this, but then the rest of the walls will be kind of similar to this. We've got our oak, birch, and sandstone. So let's see, we'll try adding some brick to the bottom part here. Ah, and this guy needs to leave. Please, stop. Wait, did I make this six? It was meant to be five. So we're tearing this side down, I guess. Okay, bit of a progress update. We're kind of building this in a weird order. So I filled in a little bit of the walls just to see if I'd like it. And I think I do, but it's still a facade. We haven't even done the framing of the roof or the back of the build. I think we'll do a fairly similar roof to this though with the copper gradient. Oh, and since we're building this in a weird order, I've got a few lanterns we can add. One over here and over this side. But I think for the rest of this, we'll switch into a quick time lapse. So let's get this built. So here we have the exterior. This is definitely the biggest thing I've built in this world so far, at least in terms of the number of blocks used. I did underestimate how much stuff we'd need. I had to keep getting more. This is what the sides look like. They're pretty simple. I didn't want too many windows because as a storage room, we're going to want to store things along these sections. And then around the front, we started this little path. We just need to connect it around the side here and then coming down here. The inside's kind of an interesting shape and I don't know exactly how we're gonna do this. I think we'll just start with what we do have. So we have some furnaces and I thought this could be a wall of them. We do need to grab a few more and while we're doing that we can get some lanterns off our villagers. And who sells lanterns? Not you. Ah, I think it's only Violet but she's already out of stock. Okay, no luck there, we're just gonna try Violet again in a bit. In that case, next, I also don't know what to do with the floor in here. Also, I kind of need more bricks, so I was thinking if we make a stonemason villager and level them up, it might give us some ideas. Maybe we can buy some bricks and some floor blocks. So we'll get our breeders to breed, and while we wait for that to happen, we can make them a stone cutter, which I think is one, two, three, four. Perfect. This dangerous equipment is all yours. The last thing we need heaps of is chests, and the best way to get a lot of wood is by growing those big spruce trees. Like this. Well, it's a tall boy. So we'll just repeat this a few times. So little update, we have our villager who we've bought a lot of bricks off, and they're selling some other good blocks too, but I don't know if I want any of them for the floor. I love quartz though, and I love yellow terracotta. But we've done about half of the storage room so far, so ignore the grass. But we've got a partial brick floor, and we have chests lining the walls. And then on this side, I want to do more chests along here, but then something else along the back. There's also these weird little areas. I had no idea what to do with these. I found it a bit of a struggle making this look good with the weird roof design, but I think we'll use this as just some fake storage. So we can make some piles of barrels and things. Actually, our inventory is really full. Let's clear it by placing some stuff. So this will be our chest label system. And then maybe we can have flower pots here and here. Beautiful. And on the other side. Then we can have some leafy plant shelves and some random paintings. Now we should have enough inventory space to make some more chests and barrels. 
and this little nook will make kind of a little kitcheny zone. We've got our blast furnaces and smithing table and we'll have a stone cutter and an ender chest. This is actually our first one. We can also have a brewing stand and then for decor we'll go with a cake and a lantern. And lastly we really need to sort out this floor. Since I am feeling a little bit stuck with it, I think it'd be fun to use whatever our stone cutter villager will give us. So we'll get some emeralds. And he sells yellow terracotta, so maybe we can grab some of that and glaze it. And then we'll get some quartz too. We'll go for quartz around the edges in a kind of diamond shape. And then yellow terracotta. So I think we're done and this has turned into such a nice and organized space I can't wait to use it more. It came out really spacious and cute. So this is a design we landed on for the floor. Over this side of the room we have all our main storage and up in these bits I just did some like fake storage. Same with above the furnaces. And then we have so many chests here that I don't think I'll need any of these anytime soon but they can be extra. And in the middle here we have our useful little kitchen. And with this fairly big project complete I think that'll be all for today. As always thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy this please leave a like and a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!